Hi guys, welcome to Bees Bites. In today's video, we're going to make Indian nachos. We're going to use plain salted or unsalted Dorito chips for our base. You can of course make your own tortilla chips, but why complicate life? For our protein, we're making masala roasted chickpeas and for our toppings, we have an Indian salsa, also known as kachumbur and green chutney. Alright, now that we have all our ingredients, let's get cooking. The first thing we'll do is preheat our oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll work on our chickpeas. First drain them and spread the chickpeas out onto a tray. Using a paper towel, pat them dry and remove as much moisture as possible. Then add about 3 tablespoons of olive oil, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of mango powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, and salt to taste. Mix well, making sure to coat all the little chickpeas with the masala. Spread them out onto the tray, and then pop them into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Next, we're going to make our Indian salsa or kachumbur. First, chop up one tomato and add that to a bowl. Then finally chop half a red onion, one green chilli, seeds and all, and add that to the bowl as well. Then juice half a lemon, add salt to taste and mix well. Now we'll just set that aside for later. Now by this time our chickpeas should be ready. We've roasted it for about 15 minutes, so the chickpeas are nice and crispy on the outside, but still a bit soft and fluffy in the middle. This is how I like it, but if you want it really crunchy, cook it for longer in the oven, up to 30 minutes. Next, we're going to make our green chutney. This chutney is really easy to make and super tasty. To a blender, add 4 garlic cloves, 2 green chilies, a cup of coriander leaves, a quarter cup of mint leaves, juice of half a lemon and salt to taste. I'm also adding a quarter cup of water so it all blends together smoothly. This is what it should look like after. Now we're ready to assemble our nachos. Spread the chips out in an oven safe bowl, top with about a third of the chickpeas, half of the kachumbur and some cheese. If you're vegan, you can skip this step or use vegan cheese instead. Then we're just going to pop it in the oven for about a couple of minutes on the grill setting till the cheese gets nice and melty. Once that's done, we can finish assembling the nachos. Top it with the rest of the chickpeas and kachumbur and add about 2 tablespoons of tamarind chutney. I'm just using a store-bought one. I've made my own tamarind chutney before but I don't really find it worth the time. The store-bought one tastes just as good to me. We're also going to add 2 tablespoons of the green chutney and some coconut yogurt. You could also use sour cream as well. Then to top it off, I'm adding a tablespoon of guacamole. You can find my guac recipe on my channel. I've left the link for it down below in the description box. Then just garnish with some coriander leaves and that's it. You're done. Alright guys, there you have it. That was my recipe for Indian nachos. Um, this is really a great dish to make as a snack or you can bulk it up and add more beans or even add some meat to it and have it as a meal. Um, anyway, now it's time for me to eat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe for more videos next week. Bye! Okay, I'm done!